Angel Reese has signed and has committed herself to be in the unrivaled three-on-three basketball league that will make its debut come January 2025. Nafisia Collier of the Minnesota Lynx and Brianna Stewart of the New York Liberty started the league. Unrivaled is for the WNBA players who may or may not want to go overseas, right? It gives them chances and like just time to actually earn more money and, um, you know, actually just stay in the States. Because I believe Unrivaled, it'll actually be set in Miami, Florida. All players who are in the Unrivaled 3-on-3 league will receive six-figure salaries plus equity. Angel Reese is a very smart businesswoman. This is a very good look for her. Also, not only is it more opportunity to make more money for uh, Angel Reese and get more endorsements and sponsorships, it's also a chance to actually improve upon her game and play events against the big leagues, such as Jewel Lloyd, Enrique, so many women that's going to be uh, who have also committed to the three-on-three basketball league unrivaled. So again, injuries will be getting her bread up, getting her money up, and along with her skills. I'm just concerned that injuries, along with the other ladies who are playing in the unrivaled competition come January, hopefully they can just stay as healthy as possible, don't overwork themselves, don't burn out, and avoid, avoid injuries as much as possible. So other than the players that will be uh, uh, coming to the Unrivaled League, 3-on-3 three three Basketball League come January, are Enrique, Jewel Lloyd, Kelsey Plum, Ryan Howard, K- uh, Kalia Copper, Jackie Young, plus 20, plus 20 more players. So there are some big-time investors who are invested into the Unrivaled Basketball League for women 3-on-3 three three, uh, January. Investors include former soccer star Megan uh, Rapion, Rap is it, is it pronounced Rap, you know, Megan Rapino. Basketball Hall of Famer, Steve Nash, golfer, Michelle Y. West, Knicks great, Carmelo Anthony, and the UConn coach, Gino Auriemma, ex-ESPN president, John Skipper, and ex-Turner president, David Levy, are both on board to help with landing media right deals for the Basketball League 3-on-3. Again, Angel Reese is doing her thing. All the ladies, <clears throat> I'm so proud that both Nafisa Collier and Brianna Stewart have come together to actually come up with this league for women to play in the, uh, um, you know, after the WNBA season uh, ends because I miss it so much. I know I'm not the only one. I miss the WNBA game so bad. Um, next Monday, Team USA will take on, I believe, is it Germany? Oh, no, Spain. No, 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 I'm sorry. Team USA actually takes on Jet Japan, Team Japan, next Monday. And again, it's only three games that they'll play in the Olympics, and that'll be over with. And hopefully, finally, it'll go by soon, and then we can finally get back to the WNBA. But once the WNBA season uh, ends in September, uh, come January, we'll have the um, three-on-three basketball unrivaled league that we can still enjoy some of our favorite players, such as Angel Reese, come January of 2025. Again, Angel Reese is a smart businesswoman. I like this idea just as long as she stays uh, healthy and, she, and fit to, you know, play on the off-season and during the on-season. Again, like I'm going to insert uh, pictures here. Um, you know, Angel Reese, is, Angel Reese right now is currently in Paris supporting – the men and women's basketball league and also the, all the other, you know, Team USA sports um, divisions. And she's been looking great. She's modeling, okay? She's six foot three. The girl is serving body and looks, okay? While she's out there in Paris. She was actually, she took a photo of freaking Anna Wintour. Okay, Anna Wintour, the freaking fashion icon, okay? Angel Reese is on the up and up, okay? She's putting her name, her brand. She's, gonna, she's literally becoming a household name worldwide. Okay, she got little girls watching her in Paris, Africa, Europe, Asia. They know who her name is. They know who Angel Reese is. She's inspiring the next generation of girls to get into sports, uh, more specifically to get into basketball. It's so many benefits for young girls and young boys too, but like for young girls when it comes to us playing sports as young little girls, right? Um, our rate of teen pregnancy goes down, right? So this is a good role model look for Angel Reese. She's showing girls that you know you can be confident, you can be competent, you can be feminine and beautiful, you know, and still play sports. You can be a competitor. You can go out there and just make those decisions and you can be a rookie, right? Just like she is, but you can still make decisions and be a floor general and you can be a leader of your team and you can be beautiful and intelligent. You can go to school, get a degree and join the WNBA and make that change and make a huge lasting impact on the next generation. Now, I have to also go into this topic. Is Satu Sabali, is that how you pronounce her name? Satu Sabali, is she a traitor? Now, Satu Sabali, I like her. She's six foot four, right? And she's actually my birthday twin. So two Sabali, she's actually born April 25th. Okay, I believe 1997, 1998. So she's about two, three years, two, three years younger than me. I was also born April 25th, okay? Team Taurus. But again, so two Sabali was born in New York City. She has a Gambian father, okay? He's from Africa, right? West Africa. And she has a German mother, right? But uh, it was either, yeah, it was last, it was this Monday, Monday, Tuesday, when Team USA took on the German, Team Germany, at the exhibition game for the women's basketball. 
And I was like, is that Satu Sabali? Not only was it Satu Sabali uh, representing, representing for Team Germany, it was also her sister. I'm like, no, wait a minute. How is this like, how can you do this, right? I feel like the rules should be a little bit more, uh, you know, rigged when it comes to this or more um, strict. Because again, like, okay, I understand like she's half German. She can claim that it's perfectly fine, right? Her mother is German. That's her mom, okay? A lot of girls, well, children period are very close with our mothers. And we tend to take on their culture, their traditions, their languages, their cooking, their food, everything, right? We can't get it from our moms. But it's like, girl, you were born in New York City. You play for the WNBA. Why well, not just, maybe, maybe she just didn't cut Team USA. Maybe she put her name in the hat to represent America and they, said no, you know, you you need to show and prove a little bit more with your skills. But she said, to hell with y'all. I'm going to my mother's land, literally my mother's homeland, and I'm going to represent for Team Germany. And ain't nothing y'all can do about it. So, hey, who knows? But I just find it very interesting that she's playing for Team Germany when she's American. And even though, again, like she's half German due to her mother, but again, um, very interesting. Also, I have some good news to share. Again, this is just another sign that the WNBA is on the up and up and skyrocketing in popularity and its relevancy. So the Golden State Valkyries, yes, okay, this is going to be a WNBA women's basketball team that will come to next year in the year 2025 for San Francisco. So the Valkyries have surpassed over 15,000 season ticket deposits. It has made history, so this makes it the first team in women's sports history to do so. It says the franchise, the first WNBA expansion team since 2008, will begin to play at Chase Center in the 2025 WNBA season, the season ticket deposits cost $25 per seat. In the first week after launching their brand in mid-May, the Valkyries secured over 3,500 additional season ticket deposits, pushing their total pass over 11,000. So again, um, shout outs to the Valkyries. I can't wait. You know, that purple and black, I can't wait to see the jerseys. Hopefully Paige Beckers, it seems like she's trying to make her um, claim or state her, you know, her um, desire to go to the uh, Golden State Valkyries uh, once she... Uh, you know, submits her draft, she's going to declare herself to the WNBA draft. And then next year, once the, the Valkyries get they, you know, their um, stadium and their roster and their team together. And I can't wait to see that again. Like, it's so many games I want to fly to. I'm definitely going to fly to California for that. Because, again, next year I'll be out of the military finally. I can do whatever the hell I want to do. Again, the WNBA is on the up and up. It's on the rise. Angel Reese is on the rise. I will be seeing her on the three-on-three -three, uh, basketball league uh, for Unrivaled come January.